Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rhino Rack Batwing Awning for Rhino Rack Crossbars. It's available for the passenger side with part number RR33200. It's also available for the driver's side with part number RR33100. This awning can be set up anywhere you can park. It's perfect for tailgaters, campers, tradesmen. Really, if you like shade, we've got you covered. It wraps 270 degrees around your vehicle, giving you 118 square feet of shade. The awning itself is made out of a ripstop polyester canvas. It's gonna be resistant to water and mold. It's lightweight, but it's gonna offer maximum sun protection. The supports are made out of an anodized aluminum with a black powder coat finish, so they're gonna be resistant to rust and corrosion. The included guy wires are highly visible orange, so you don't have to worry about you or anybody else tripping over them. It holds up very well. As you can see, we've got a windy day and we're not having any issues. It's gonna work with any roof rack system that accepts T-slot accessories. You can pick up an adapter for square or round bars with part number RR31105. Its compact design leaves plenty of room for other accessories. As you can see, we've got a bike rack here and room for more. One of our customers, Torn, says, during initial setup in my driveway, I was wowed at how easy everything was to set up myself. Another thing I love about the Batwing is that the vertical support legs are built into the awning itself. They deploy and pack away very easily. The coverage this awning provides is just what I wanted and its features make it well worth the investment. We'll go ahead and show you how to get it set up. We'll start by disconnecting the hook and loop. From there, we'll unzip it all the way across. Then we'll flip the cover over, exposing our awning. Next, we'll remove the peg bag from the pocket and then flip the pocket over. Now we can undo the three hook and loop buckles and our awning is just going to drape down. Then we'll grab the four poles and we'll rotate the whole thing back around to the rear of the vehicle. Then we'll locate the strap attached to the awning and we'll attach it to our anchor that we pre-installed into our T-Track. Then we can tighten it up. This is gonna stretch out our awning and hold it in place. No reason to over tighten, just get it nice and secure and make sure that it's solid. Now we're under the awning, we'll unclasp our supports, lower them down and get them in position. They're telescoping so we can raise them to the desired height and then tighten them up. There are four poles included. Now the nice thing about these supports is once their heights are set, they can be sewed away at that length so you don't need to adjust them over and over again. Now we can take the pegs and anchor down our supports. At the bottom of each support, each foot has a guide so the pegs go in at an angle. If you need to, you can take your foot or a mallet to push them in the rest of the way. Then we'll attach our hook and loop to each support. Now we'll take the guy wires and attach them to our supports. We'll start by taking the end with the hook, attaching it to the top of the support. Now we'll take one of our pegs, we'll drive that in, We'll take our guy wire, we'll go underneath. We'll come up, pull it nice and tight, and attach it back to itself. Now if it's raining, you can attach your guy wires to your awning. This will create a dip that helps with water runoff. Now the awning comes with more guy wires than it does stakes. Now you have the option of using only one stake per support, or you can pick up more stakes with part number CAM51010. When you're all done, everything folds back into itself and the magnets keep the supports in place. With everything rolled up, the PVC cover protects it when you're on the road. And that's gonna complete our look at the Rhino Rack Batwing awning for Rhino Rack Cross. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.